Weba! How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great today. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Today on math, we are going to continue learning what are we doing on this week. We did on Monday, we divide a, a shape into two equal parts, into half. Yesterday, we divide the shape into four equal parts, into fourth. And today, we're going to divide the shape into eight equal parts. That means eighth. Okay? So, when you divide that, you need to write the name of each part, one-eighth. Or in Spanish, un octavo. Then, you're going to solve a word problem. Today, we're going to do, again, multiplication word problem. And after, you, after we do this multiplication word problem, we are going to do, if you can, as extra, optional, as optional, Go back, volume 1, chapter 12.2, page 394 to 396. Repito, esta última parte de aquí es opcional. Yo sé que algunos, si no tienen el tiempo, no tienen que hacer esta parte. La parte de arriba es la parte de la clase. Esta parte de aquí abajo, esto es extra. Extra, vamos a por aquí. extra, si te da tiempo, ¿ok? Y estas cosas te van a ayudar a ti a practicar y estar más preparado para tercer grado. Understood? So, remember, this is extra. This will give you more time to be more prepared to be on third grade. So, my recommendation is, if you have the time, do it. Do it. Hustle. Do your best and try to do as much as you can. ¿Ok? Good. Divide a shape into eight, solve the math world problem, and work on the goal math. That's all for today for math, okay? So let's start with the class. We need to remember that shapes is figuras equal parts, partes iguales, half, medio mitad, fourth, cuartos, eighth, octavos. So please repeat again. Shape, figuras, equal parts, partes iguales. Repitan. Half, medio o mitad. Fourth, cuartos. Eighth, octavos. We already talked about half and fourth. We're going to talk today about eighth. And eighth is octavos, and it's written like this. This is the number, the standard form, one eighth, un octavo. Así es como se escribe estas palabras de las partes iguales. So now that we've reviewed the vocabulary words, let's go and do the shapes. So we're doing today not two equal parts, not four equal parts. We're doing today eight equal parts. I'm going to do a circle and you can do any shape you like. So let me make a big circle. So I'm going to do a circle. Remember, you can do a triangle, but this one is hard. You can do a square. You can do a rectangle. Okay. You can do, if you can, um, a hexagon or an octagon. I think an octagon will be cool. Okay, you can do an octagon. So, circle. If I do it one line right in the middle, I have two equal parts. So, this is one half. But we're not doing half. We're doing eight equal parts. So, this is not the one that we're doing. So I need to do one more. Now I have one, two, three, four equal parts. This is one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. But we're not doing four equal parts. This one we did it yesterday. Today we're doing 
eight equal parts. So I need to erase this and fix it. So we're doing eight equal parts. So I have one, two, three, four. Let me do another one here and another one right here. And let's count. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. So directly we'll see one, eight, con th, okay, eight, ah, se ve bien feo, casi ni cabe, one, eight, hace en español, un octavo, one, eight, one, Eighth, un octavo, un octavo, one eighth. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. You're going to do the same thing. Remember to name the parts. Think about nombre las partes, and you can do it with any shape, with any shape, okay? With any shape. Understood? While I'm reading the word problem, I'm doing cubes. So the word problem says, Katie made cupcakes and put them in six rows. Hmm, on this first sentence, we're talking about Katie. And Katie made cupcakes. Ella hizo cupcakes, pastelitos. And put them in six rows. So she has... Cupcakes. Does this sentence tell me how many cupcakes in all? No, it does not. It tells me that she has six rows. Okay. And then on each row in cada fila, she had five cupcakes. The question is, how many cupcakes did Katie made? So if I do the part, part, whole, right here, we know, we don't know how many cupcakes she has. We don't know this answer. No sabemos esta pregunta. We don't know this one. We do not know. But we know that she has six row, six parts. So we have one part, two, three, four, five and six. And on each part, she had five cupcakes on one row, five on this one, five on this one, five, five, and five. Hmm. So if we do this process, then this means that this is multiplication because multiplication is just repeating addition. Multiplicar is Sumar repetidamente el mismo número. So here we have 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. And this is the answer of this. This is the number sentence. Another way we can do it is just like this. Five times, so we have five times, five, and how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six times. Five times six equals also the answer. So multiplication is just repeating addition. So let's solve this with my toys that they will represent a cupcake. Each toy is one cupcake. So... As I as what I said, we have five plus five plus five plus five plus five. One, two, three, four, five plus five and six. This will be the answer. Or also we can look at like this. Five times six equals something. 
So now we're doing the part part hole, a big part part hole. So So we do not know how many cupcakes Katie had. No sabemos cuántos cupcakes hizo Katie. No lo sabemos. But we know that she made how many rows? Cuántas filas? So she made six rows, six filas. So we have, it's gonna be one row here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six rows. So that means we have six parts. And on each row, how many cupcakes did she put? Cuántos pasteles ella colocó en cada fila? She put five cupcakes on each row. So let's start. We have one, two, three, four, and five cupcakes right here. We have five. One, two, three, four, and five cupcakes on this row. Then we have one, two, three, four, and again, five cupcakes on this row. Then we have one, two, three, four, and five cupcakes on this row. We have one, two, three, four rows. We need two more. We have one, two, three, four, and five cupcakes. And the last row we have one, two, three, four, and five cupcakes. So I have six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tengo seis filas. Seis filas. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Y en cada fila tenemos cinco cupcakes. Y cuando lo cuento todos, now I'm going to add all of them. What is five plus five? This is 10. 10 plus 5. This is 15. 15 plus 5. This is 20. 20 plus 5. This is 25. 25 plus 5. This is 30. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So she had 30 cupcakes in all. This means that 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, plus five equals 30. Or 5 times 6 equals 30. So this is multiplication, repeated addition. Okay, guys, you're going to be doing the same with this word problem. We have here, Katie made cupcakes and put them in four rows. Now, each row had six cupcakes in it. How many cupcakes did Katie made? Remember to do the strip diagram. Remember to put the hole. We need to find how many she made. So we do not know the hole. So we need to put the rows or the parts and how many are on each row. And then do repeated addition and multiplication. This will be all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.